you can now enable FSR in every game on Linux. This should work on all GPUs released since 2016, so if you're running a low-end card like a GTX 1050, you can get a lot of free performance. For now, this only works with the latest version of Glorious Egg Roll's custom Proton. You have to download it from the GitHub page, link in the description, and extract it to .steam root compatibility tools .d. Then you have to restart Steam. Once you've done that, you should be able to choose to run the game with this Proton version. Select it and then add the following environment variables to your Steam launch options. The second one is optional and defines how much you want the image to be sharpened. It takes values from 0 to 5. A bigger number corresponds to less sharpening. I stick to a value of 4 in most cases. Now you can launch your game, go to the graphics settings and choose a resolution lower than your native. I found that upscaling from 1080p to 1440p works great in the majority of cases. Now you might ask how much performance can I gain from this? Well, short answer is a lot. Here is a clip from Resident Evil Village illustrating this. Also, we can compare Proton's FSR to the game's implementation. You see that the game's implementation is noticeably blurrier, even though it is upscaling from a higher resolution and giving me less performance. Proton FSR is an amazing feature which might make Windows users, especially those with older hardware, consider switching to Linux instead of Windows 11. This feature will eventually find its way into mainline Proton and it might make something like the Steam Deck a very viable handheld gaming PC. If you're interested in more Linux gaming content, then press the like button and subscribe to not miss any future videos. See you in the next one.